This video is the English version of the original in Polish. Safka. This is how it sounds in Polish. In English, something for similar purpose is called bivacuum. However, what I found in literature are bulky and for catching swarms. Safka is quite a different design and for different purpose. It could be used for catching swarms quite well if the swarm is not very large. However, with some adaptation, it could be used even for large swarms. Novices in beekeeping who already have one or two hives and want to have more hives will find this very useful, particularly in beekeeping in top bar hives I presented. Sooner or later, they will notice a need not only for translocation some plaster or pieces of plasters, clamp is very useful, but also bees, and the translocation of bees by so-called brushing is not comfortable, not effective, and not practical. Using this device for collecting bees is easy and simple without a cloud of angry bees and without sting proof armor or even a veil. Usually there are two very basic necessities. One of it is adding bees to nook in which we placed combs or pieces of combs with eggs to grow a new queen. And the second is when you want to add bees to young developing family in order to speed up uh, the process of development or to older family somehow deficient in bees for whatever reason. There is also the third situation, what I noticed thanks to this type of hive with window, in which Safka is very useful. Here it is. It is common phenomenon in honey bee hives that in certain time in late spring or summer there is abundance of bees. This phenomenon is easily observed in top bar hive if such hive has a window or even without it. In certain moment we will notice that bees are covering last combs with very thick layer much more than what looks as normal. This is natural thing, the result of natural proliferating feature of bees without which would be no bees and no honey. The next we will see is that suddenly there are significantly less bees in this hive and last combs are hardly covered with bees. This means the large part of bees departed together with queen. We know such thing as swarm. Beekeepers don't like it because these bees with queen are lost for them, usually. There are numerous ways and means to cope with it described in literature, so if I add some more it will not change things too much generally. However, for top bar hives beekeepers, it could be helpful. Finding the critical day before swarm is very difficult in traditional hives. Top bar hive with window let observe what is going on inside and let decide fairly accurate with some experience in which moment to act before bees do it. Optimal procedure will certainly be discussed, but the first thing on my mind before such discussion starts was technical solution of collecting bees. Instructions on brushing and shaking didn't satisfy me from the beginning when I stood the first time in front of commercial packet with bees. At that time, I had to think out a method I called of a little cardboard, which I described in part one. Presently, standing in front of the matter of collecting bees from a hive, it was a challenge. 
In result emerged a specific device I call Safka. W in Polish is pronounced as a letter V. This device, in conjunction with a regular household vacuum cleaner, serves me well as a very practical and valuable tool without cloud of angry bees. It serves even better if away from home with battery-powered or car-powered vacuum cleaner. I think that it will also find its use in hands of top bar hive beekeepers. Using an old cage, we may have a packet of bees ready to install in a new hive. As you see, there are still plenty of bees remaining in the hive. After a week or two after this packet is installed in the new hive and we see that a family is well established, we may add more bees a similar way to speed up the process of development and have reasonable amount of honey in the first year of installation. Sometimes some families produce more young bees than honey, what we rather don't like, but it is excellent occasion to use these bees for a new hive or to enrich other hives even repeatedly from the same hive. I have used a variety of adaptations for this container of Safka, depending on necessities or experiments. This container has wooden, very rough ceiling. These rough ceilings provide good surface to hook on and hang on it. Bees prefer to hang when are not active. These give them better ventilation, I think. Such container is useful as one of ways of holding collected bees if not used immediately. For a relatively short time it would be enough just to cover the neck with a net, as here, to provide ventilation. Ventilation and food are two basic and indispensable things for bees. After a variety of tests and experiments, I am limiting finally my practice to use two techniques depending on application. The first is emptying Safka directly to a hive or nook as shown. The second is using old bugs from commercial packet or smaller bugs as this. This is also used when I want to keep a beast with a queen or without for a few days for whatever reason. This is another hive. There are not too much bees in it and there are no symptoms of preparing to swarm but taking some bees from it to use for a nook to grow a new queen will not harm it. <laughs> 